Well, when uh, the pro when the defense took the uh, stand, we completely did the unexpected. Instead of uh, trying to hide anything, we came out and said, "Yes, we did it." So we put out the uh, bulletins. So we put out. We had mass meetings. We explain about the situation, the draft situation to the people, and we uh, uh, encourage people not to go, et cetera, et cetera. Well, the prosecution was a little uh, taken, taken aback because they didn't expect us to come out and admit all this. And we said that we did this because we felt that the uh, draft was, as applied to the camps, was unconstitutional, that uh, it was, wasn't right was uh, unfair and unjust and immoral. And the upshot of the trial was that uh, after, uh, I guess, maybe a week of it, uh, we figured we had a pretty good case because uh, uh, our attorney, who was, who was uh, a very sharp constitutional lawyer, uh, presented a very good case. But we heard that one weekend uh, this... Judge Eugene Rice had gone duck hunting with the district attorney who was prosecuting us. So when we heard of that, why the, our attorney said, "Well, you know, there goes there goes your case. So, uh, we'll probably have to take this up to the appellate court." And sure enough, that's what happened. We were convicted uh, and uh, sentenced to. Uh, we were convicted of conspiracy to violate selective service aiding and abetting and counseling others to resist the Selective Service Law. And uh, we were uh, uh, given a sentence of four years in a federal penitentiary. And we uh, appealed that, and the attorney had asked the judge to uh, let us out on appeal into the camps pending the, the, uh, the appellate court's decision. But the judge called us, uh, uh, what do you say, You're, you are agitators, troublemakers, and uh, refused to uh, grant us any bail so while the appeal was in process.